Okay, so on this job, I've been asked to paint the ceiling. Now, the customer has already painted the walls um, because they couldn't get the uh, ceiling done themselves. Too difficult. Um, so, what I've done first of all is moved all the furniture into the centre and I've covered it up. <clears throat> Luckily, there's no carpet, so we're okay with that. Um, now, once I've done that, I've put some plastic sheets over the curtains and the window, save tacking that down. So the only thing I've got left to cover up is the mirror. It's screwed onto the wall, so it's easier just to put some plastic over it. Um, this is what I'm using. Really good stuff. This is uh, DL. Get this from B and Q. Just look, three meters by fifteen meters. It's good stuff. Cut it for what you want. First of all, measure the length what you want, and then put your foot on it and hold it nice and straight. Your razor blade. Don't cut. Don't start at the end. Start just a little bit in. And it works. And I use some insulation tape. Um, I find sometimes this is a lot better than uh, masking tape because sometimes masking tape can start peeling off. So this is good. I'll just talk you through some of the stuff I've got. Um, dust a brush. So first of all what I'm going to do, I've already unscrewed the ceiling rows. So I'm going to dust the ceiling, make sure there's no cobwebs on that. And then I'm going to check it over for any cracks. If there is any cracks, I've got this stuff. Quick dry, instant filler. It's not bad, it's good. Um, especially if you've got a lot of rooms to do and you're moving through them quickly um, and you come across a crack. You can't keep running back to mix filler, so it's really good to have when you're doing jobs like that. Obviously, dust mask uh, while you're dusting off. I'm going to use a two inch pure bristle to cut in. That's the paint I'm using. That's good stuff, that is. Right, um, now this. This is a masonry roller. Basically, a long pile sleeve. The reason I'm using that is because it's an Artex ceiling and it's quite rough. Um, and I find these hold a lot of paint and they're perfect because it's a masonry uh, roller sleeve. Also, screw thread and a screw thread because it's, when you're doing ceilings, it's a lot easier to have it fastened on the end so it's not moving about. Right, oh, and a scuttle. Plus a bucket of water and a damp cloth. So like I say, dust it off and then you can start cutting in round the edge. And as soon as you've cut in round the edge, cut in round the ceiling rows and then you're ready to roll. So I'll show you a few then steps and then uh, you can have a look at the ceiling finished. I'm going to start cutting in the ceiling. Um, okay, it doesn't really matter too much where you start. I'll just give you a closer look. So, really, my customer hasn't cut in right to the ceiling in places. So, what I'm going to have to do is do my best. Um, and then probably touch up with the paint they've put on, which is goose down. But um, I'll just show you again pure bristle, it's not easy.
Last thing to cut round is the ceiling rows. And always, you know, unscrew the ceiling rows. Okay, then ready to roll. So that's all the cutting in done now. All the way around the room. And the uh, ceiling rolls last. So I'm ready to start rolling. Now, every ceiling is different because there's certain circumstances you have to change the direction you're rolling um, because you've got furniture in the room and you can only manage to get it one way. Um, what I tend to do is break the ceiling up into the smallest lengths that I'm going to roll if I can. So I'm going to try and roll it the shortest way. Uh, and sometimes I like to be able to see the sheen going on. So you, on a nice white ceiling you can actually see where you've been. But anyway I'm going to start over there in the corner. Making sure your roller is nice and loaded. Don't start right to the wall. Start away from the wall, then work back to it. Make sure you spread your paint out nice and evenly. It's never easy doing a room when there's furniture in it, it's a nightmare. I may have to change my roller pole in a minute because it's hitting the furniture in places. Masonry rollers, they hold a lot of paint as well. Right. I'm just going to finish the this light and then call that halfway. that other side in now and then finish off. So there you go. Actually first of all I want to show you get see if we can get further across for that one.
that. First coat done. Looks a lot different, believe me. Right, so I'll show you the second after the second coat and then that's it. It's had its second coat now, finished. It's definitely uh, better with the second coat. 